What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over the top 5 ninjutsu for the healer class. Now, if you guys don't know, I main healer, and after playing the game for 119 hours, which I'm pretty sure 100 plus was only healer, I think it's safe to say that I know what I'm talking about. So anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and go to Sakura, and uh... Look at the Jutsu. So I'm going to pretty much talk briefly about the Jutsus here, and then we're going to get into some actual gameplay, and I'm going to talk about it more in depth and show you guys the pros and cons and everything like that about each Jutsu. So starting out at number five, we have Green Rain Ground Hold. Now, um, this Jutsu is a really good Jutsu, but... For it to be like really effective, you need to combo with a defensive type that has sand shield. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So that's why that one's number five. Number four is Chakra Scalpel. Now Chakra Scalpel is a really good Jutsu. You um, Jutsu seal them, you ult seal them, and you substitution seal them. The only downfall is it's a melee ability. And what I mean by that is you got to get in there. And as a healer, you're not really trying to be by anybody or fighting a whole lot of people. That's not really good for you because you're not going to be able to heal that much. Now, um, which one is it? All right, so right here we have number three. The number three best ninjutsu for healing is a Trigram's Air Palm. This one is number three simply because um, this pretty this does what Chakra Scalpel does, but better in a sense. You you um, jutsu seal them. You only jutsu seal them, right? So you don't ultimate seal them, I don't believe, and you don't um, substitution seal them. But the great thing about it is, um, see, because Chakra Scalpel is on the 12 second cooldown. This one's 13 seconds. But the range on this one is massive. This pretty much has the range of a fireball. So you can literally jutsu seal people from a long range distance. That means you don't got to get into the action or anything like that. And you can um, jutsu seal them. I run this on my main build, which I'm going to be going over builds with within the next couple of days and stuff like that. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for that. And uh, yeah, so this is number three. And then... Um, you guys probably guess what number two and one are um, Now these are interchangeable between second place and first place depending on the situation We have cellular extraction jutsu, which you don't remember that soccer is healing jutsu Which I'm going to show you and then we have palm sage jutsu, which is the um, OG healing jutsu you get at the beginning of the game um, They both have pros and cons as to which is better in my personal opinion I feel like palm sage is better but that depends on if you have a good team or not. If you have a bad team, cellular extraction may be the better choice. So um, now that we got the introduction to all the juices and everything out of the way, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right, so I hopped into an offline mission just for the purpose of showing you what the jutsus do and stuff like that because um i have specific builds i use and um these kind of aren't it so i want to go ahead and like get you all the information without like doing pvp and stuff like that um i hopped into the bell mission with sakura and naruto and i'm also gonna have kabuto with me uh so i can pretty much show you how good the healing is and the jutsus and everything like that so um and if you guys don't know, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different uh, videos around the healer class. And then after I completely get done with the healer class, I'll probably switch to another class. Uh, probably attack type or range type and do it that way. So starting out, we have a ch we have Chakra Scalpel and then we have um, the Sarda Jutsu, which I forgot the name. So here's the Sarda Jutsu. You throw like a really big bubble down. And like it heals everybody inside the bubble and the reason why this one is so good is because um well it's it's fifth place but the reason why it's good is if you have like a de defensive type with a sand shield and you pop that literally your whole team can just go inside the sand shield and heal and the enemy team can't do anything about it and then if you combo it with um the healing tag which i have right now if you put healing tag into this it'll just do double the healing so um that's really really good um so like, I, I mean like, it's it's so low on the list because healing is like busted, okay? But it's so low on the list simply because uh, you have to combo it, and all the other jutsus you don't really need to combo. You can do it by yourself, right? Now chakra scalpel is a forward dash, as you just saw me use. Now um, you don't have to lock on to people. It kind of performs like Chidori and lightning blade, um, as far as like dashing. 
So like, say you don't uh, lock on anybody, you can dash forward with it like that. So it's really good for like, um, say you're the healer and you get the flag or something and capture the flag or just anything in general like you, that you need to use it on. You can dash, so that's really good. And like I said, it does. Um, oh wow, I almost died because he went back up there. And like I said, it does Jutsu Seal, Ult Seal, and um, Substitution Seal. So they can't just do whatever they want after you hit them. Um, it's a really good combo ender, but um, it is a knockback. So if you do hit them with it first without comboing, it, it won't work as well as it would if you combo first. So you can go ahead and... So you can like combo. If, hold on, well, Kakashi gets off me. Combo, and then end it like that, and then um, there'll be Chakra Seal, Jutsu Seal, whatever you want to call it. Now, um, I don't like using this one as much on like a passive build, but if I'm going like a, let's say, damage build-esque type thing, uh, I would I, I would profit it. Like, I, I main healer, so like sometimes I do want to do damage. So like if I want to do damage, I'll literally take like Air Pump and Chakra Scalp. Like that's all I'll take. See, like right now he can't substitute and it, and it lasts a pretty good time um another video that i do want to make is like the best clothing and items for healers because um i get smacked up oh okay i was about to say it didn't let me recover yeah so like i do want to do like an items and clothing uh video because i do have like specific items and clothing that i use for my specific builds and i think that would really help a lot of people that want to know there it is. See, now I can't substitute. And it's only on a 13 second cooldown. Or this one's 12 seconds, excuse me. It's on a 12 second cooldown, which if you run like a cooldown reduction, it'll go to, I want to say like 9 seconds. So uh, that's really, really good. Alright, so next up we're going to talk about um, Air Palm. Air Palm is literally Chakra Scalpel, except it's a long range move. I, I really like like it's just a really good move to use if you're not trying to engage on the enemy which as a healer you don't want to engage i mean like you can fight to an extent but you like you need to make sure you stay alive and the best way to do that is to stay away right so uh air palm really helps out with that it makes sure that you are not in the heat of the battle it's on a 13 second cooldown which is not too bad like chakra scalp is one second faster but I feel like that's not as good as having long range as your jutsu, right? So, um, oh, and it does have a knockback. So when people are trying to chase you, chase you, you can hit them with that. And then uh, you will be good to go as far as that is. Oh, we trying to avoid. oh no. Alright, so last up, we have the cellular extraction jutsu and the palm sage jutsu. The big difference between these two is one is a burst of healing and the other one is passive healing. What I mean by that is whenever you use Sakura's, it just bursts, the, it gives the team, I want to say about 50% HP, um, it just it just bursts them. But if you're using Palm Sage, it gives your team healing over a certain amount of time. Now as you saw right there, I popped uh, Palm Sage, oh I just died. Uh, I popped Palm Sage and he kunai'd me. And then my Palm Sage went on cooldown. That is the biggest difference between the two Jutsus. Palm Sage heals more if you are constantly healing and you don't get hit. Right? So, like, let's say I don't get hit. I'm just sitting here like this. Right? Palm Sage heals more. But if I do get hit, then it's I'm, I'm pretty much not going to be healing as much. Like, the, it, it's a really, really long healing, and the cooldown is really fast. It's only 8 seconds. Whereas with Sakura's, uh, uh, the Cellular Extraction Jutsu, it's a burst just immediately on your team. But I believe it's about 12 seconds long, which isn't that bad of a cooldown when you have cooldown reduction. And it's pretty good, but um, if your team needs more healing, then it's going to be a problem. Now, as far as usage, um, I, I use Palm Sage whenever my team, I, I have a really good team that I don't really have to worry about getting damaged or anything like that. Like, I can just, you know, stay around them and heal them up like that. Now, if it's a team, like, if I need to be mobile, if I need to just heal and start attacking people, if I need to do a lot of different things other than just sit there, then I'll take uh, extraction, um, cellular extraction jutsu. So um, that's the biggest difference between these two. Um, these are first and second place, whichever way you want to put them. Now, um, like I said, air pump, air pump would be first, but as a healer, your main job is to heal. So, you know, it's in third place. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for um, 
the top five jutsus let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me know if you guys want me to continue doing these type of videos uh like i said i'm probably gonna do like top three ultimates tomorrow or something like that so uh yeah stay tuned for that um I might do it later today or tomorrow, I don't really know. But anyways, with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.